Hey friends, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make your house look more expensive. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that and hit that bell. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let me say that some of these options are more budget friendly than others and that's okay. We all just have to be glad we have a roof over our heads and we just do what we can and we're grateful for what we can do. Okay, so let's jump into this. Number one, change your builder grade light fixtures. This makes a big difference. It makes your house look custom and it is a great way to show off your style and personality. Builder grade lighting can be generic and inexpensive, but by changing out your lighting to some custom lighting, that's gonna take your house to a whole new level. This includes chandeliers, pendants, sconces, and don't forget, everything doesn't have to be matchy-matchy, just as long as it coordinates together. Number two, update your hardware. This is something that can make a drastic difference. So switching simple or basic hardware to something a little more elegant or a little more on trend will take your bathroom or kitchen space from something simple to sensational. Number three, add molding, paneling, or wall treatments. This is a fabulous way to upscale your home. But be careful, you don't wanna overdo it or choose a wall treatment that is too trendy. Board and batten and wainscoting are timeless options. I also believe shiplap will be around a bit longer, but I would recommend choosing a more modern version like painting it a moody color or going vertical. I would not recommend geo wood paneling as this is very trendy and could quickly date your home rather than make it look expensive. Number four is to hang your drapes high on the wall. This is another way to upscale your home. By hanging your drapes higher, you're gonna give the illusion of a larger room and a grander window, and this is a wonderful way to create an elevated look. Number five, update your staircase. Now, boy, does this take some work, but it makes such a huge difference. You could replace your spindles to something more on trend, or you could also stain your banister and rails, or you could even paint your banister and rails to refresh your staircase. If your stairs are carpeted, I suggest installing hardwood flooring as this is common in larger homes. If you're worried about traction, you could add a decorative runner to the stairs and this adds a very custom and luxurious look. Number six, concealing wires from TVs, lamps, and computers. My design assistants know that one of my biggest pet peeves is seeing wires, and especially when they're messy and bunched up together, it just looks so cluttered. Luckily, there are a few smart ways to hide them. For example, if I'm trying to hide a lamp cord and it's in a room that has carpet, I can take that extra cord and gently push it under the carpet and under the baseboard and it tucks in perfectly. Of course, it won't work if you have hardwood floors, but if you got carpet, it's a perfect way to hide it. Another thing I've seen, um, I've seen people with these on Amazon and they're hooked to the back of appliances in your kitchen and you're able to just wrap the extra cord around, push that appliance back against the backsplash and it looks so much neater. And another thing, this is what my husband does, especially if it's in an office or in a bonus room. If there's a lot of different cords in one generalized area, he just gathers them together and ties a black zip tie around them and it makes them look so much more organized. Now, if you have a way to hide cords, I would absolutely love to hear them. Please put them in the comments of this video. Number seven, high quality and large artwork. This is another way to elevate your home and add personality to your space. I see a lot of homes where the artwork is too small and underscaled for the space and it is not a great look. Appropriate sized art makes a room feel complete and intentional rather than looking temporary and aimless. Number eight, downfilled pillows. Now my people know I am a huge fan of downfilled pillows, whether they're on a sofa or on a bed, they just add a level of luxury. Downfilled pillows have the ability to be fluffed 
time and time again and look full and inviting where other cotton pillows do not. If you're looking to make your bedding look custom and high end, you don't have to do downfield pillows for every one. Just choose your more prominent pillows and splurge on the downfield pillows. Number nine, wallpaper. Nothing says custom like wallpaper when done correctly. Selecting wallpaper for bathrooms, laundry rooms, the back of built-ins or hallways gives a designed feel to the space. It can transform a simple bland room into one of beauty and style. I highly recommend adding wallpaper to a space that feels forgotten or overlooked to bring it to life and elevate your home. Number 10, mismatched furniture. What do I mean by this? Don't purchase sofas and chairs all in the same set. Choose pieces that coordinate well together. A matching set of furniture gives a box store feel where coordinating pieces give an acquired look as if they were chosen by a designer. Try starting with a neutral sofa and pair accent pattern chairs. This is a great way to begin to have a customized look. Number 11, declutter. This is a major way to make your house look upscale. Declutter, organize, and put a system in place to keep your house clutter free. One way I do this is by having bowls or baskets to hide things that I don't think are beautiful. So my keys have a wooden bowl, my grandkids' toys are in a chest of drawers in the living room, and I keep remotes in a basket. These are simple ways to keep visual clutter out of your eye line and keep a pristine home. Remember, what is most important is that we're grateful. A small, well-loved home full of thankfulness is better than a grand, luxurious home. Well, I hope these tips were helpful. I have a lot more videos heading your way, including my own kitchen renovation. Everybody, stay safe and stay well.